talk about some online shopping tips. So as we all know, most of us have opted to online shopping because we really don't have any choice. So I thought of sharing some tips and we also know how addictive online shopping can be. So this video will also help you in getting rid of that addiction. So do watch the video till the end as this will be a really helpful video for you guys. Do watch the video till the end. Make a list. Set aside one book to write down whatever is required for the month or whatever is less in quantity. So you will not forget what to order when you are sitting down to order stuff for the month. You can also write on your whiteboard. All the members of the family can write whatever they want to order and you can specify one single day and order all of them together so that you do not forget anything. Assign one day of the month for online shopping and follow the list you made. Just surf on the site or app for one day and you're done. Do not buy or surf the app every day or you will end up buying unnecessary stuff each day. Use budget filters so that you are not attracted towards buying expensive stuff. You should try this stuff. If you're really willing to buy something, put it in the cart and leave for 24 hours. Most of the times when you return to the cart after 24 hours, you'll realize you actually do not need that particular product. Whenever you are buying a thing, remember to check two things, the reviews and the refund policy. Reviews will let you know if the product is worth it or not. Refund policy should be checked because a lot of products only have replace policy. So in that case, you won't get your money back if the product does not serve your purpose. Compare products on other sites. Compare different products on the same site as well. You never know the cheaper ones are providing better output. So reading reviews can really help you in choosing the right product. For example, I wanted to buy an electric kettle. The price was quite costly on Amazon, but I got a decent discount on Flipkart. So do compare products, they will definitely be helpful. Now if 
if you're using the desktop to order things, make sure you're using the right link. Whenever you write your bank details, make sure it is a secure URL. Now, what is a secure URL? The URL should start with HTTPS and S stands for security. So make sure your site always has, has HTTPS. Now, if you're buying clothes online, do check the size chart. Every brand has different size charts. So a medium size tee in one brand wouldn't be similar to a medium size tee of another brand. So do check the chart. Do not save your car details on apps because it just makes it easier for you to shop. If your car details are not already saved, you'll have a little restriction to buying unnecessary stuff. If you're highly addicted, to shopping unnecessary items, you have to uninstall the apps or install it only when you need, need a particular stuff or else you will end up wasting all your savings. So uninstall the app. That's it for today's video. I hope it helped you and if it helped you, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel.